All right, enhancements and changes. Now we can page through the different um, tabs here on the side. You can have none, you can have a narrow one, you can have a wide one. That's pretty slick. And let's make some AB lines. It pops this AB line, which doesn't say a whole lot much of anything. So it's pretty obvious what to do. You can either turn it off or bring it up. This button also makes it disappear. So that make, that's how it comes and goes. Add a new line. So just like before, click A, and you have your A point, and up pops a line. At this point, you can already run auto steer. Even though you're making a line as you're driving along the edge of the field, you don't know where that line's gonna be. It's nice to be able to just follow your current line. If we wanted to make any sort of heading, like a A point and heading, 135 degrees, like that, there it is. You can adjust a little bit up or down, that sort of thing. And then when you're finally happy with it, you can even turn U-turn on. It'll generate and already do U-turn for you. And you haven't even made the line yet. So that part makes it quite flexible. So there, now we've made officially made the line. Here's the, the line name. This is the default, gives you the degrees and the direction it's heading and the time. And there's two choices for saving. You can save and then exit this or just save and create another one. What we'll do is we'll save it and we will make another line. Make a point and then go 45 degrees. There. 45.5 or something like that. So there, now this is our new one. This is the one we've made before. So now what we're gonna do is save and go. So now we have our two AB lines. So this is a new button. Now you can page through the different lines. Turn auto steer on, turn this on. And you can go through your different AB lines. You can either page through AB lines or you can page through curve lines rather than going back and selecting a different one, that sort of thing. So draw is still the same, except now it doesn't affect what's going on here. We want to certainly making curves in the draw one is the, by far the easiest way to make curve lines. You can make it in this other curve menu, but this way is just too slick and simple. I'm going to make another one over here curve. So now you can select which ones you want. A, B lines, curve lines. You can delete them. So you want to delete that one. Easy enough to make again. Beep. This is the width of your of your equipment in centimeters. So this is a 12 meter. If you want a little gap boundary on the edge of the field, then you would just make this bigger. If you made this 1400 centimeters, you'd be what, a meter farther away from the edge of the line. All right. So now if we select curve, we can select our different curves. And away it goes. We set back to the middle here. So the curve one works exactly like the other one. You want to make a new curve? You can. As you select the different ones in here, either delete or use, it shows up on the screen accordingly. So we'll say we want to use that one, we'll just use that one. The other thing that's changed, well, it's not changed, but added, is this uh, line width. So right now the guidance line is two. Then we make this six. And then, okay, well, that's the thickness of these lines. Now the lines are thicker. Andreas Ordner, Andreas Ordner wanted these as, uh, for some people, were struggling to see the really fine lines on their tablets. So that allows you to adjust the, the size of the line. And there's the AB line, that sort of thing. So I'll get it up on GitHub here right away and uh, give it a whirl.